This isn't even the first time in the past month firefighters rushed to an address in Van Buren Township that they unfortunately know too well. And that tops our news here at 530. I'm Karen Drew and I'm Demond Fernandez. This is the third time since May firefighters have responded to the Waverly Apartments. Now the building hit with the first fire is still blocked off. Then last month, a fire jet from the Wings Over Michigan Air Show crashed right into the parking lot. Now, as Rod Maloney reports this morning, a fire sent residents from a couple dozen apartments scrambling for safety. This fire is a classic example of how the preparation in advance of a fire, being ready for a problem down the line, makes a huge difference because, yes, there are people who are going to need a new place to live, but nobody got hurt. This incredible video shot by resident Haley Collum after she ran from her apartment, it shows the bright orange flames lighting up the early morning sky and all but destroying the upper level apartments. There are a dozen on either side of this building. Sharon Chandler woke to an orange glow in her living room. Heavy smoke kept her from going out the front door. I kind of just grabbed what I could and got on the balcony and just was like, all right, I got to get down. So I just kind of climbed down and then jumped from the second floor. Van Buren Chief David McAnally tells local for a coordinated fire plan made all the difference. It's one thing that we've worked very well with complex on is make sure that they're all interconnected. You go through, so if one goes off on one floor, they go off on all the floors. So we can't give them that extra uh, couple seconds to get out. Sky 4 also shows us the destructive power of the blaze. Residents tell us as people left their homes, they were banging on others' doors to make certain everyone got out safely. There were no injuries reported. There's a hero dog to tell you about. Ralph, the 190-pound Newfoundland, woke up Austin here after smelling smoke. I woke up to him barking, and then I heard the pounding at the door here in fire department, so... We could smell smoke. Austin called into work. His building had a lot of smoke damage and remains cordoned off, and he's not sure he'll be able to move back in. I'm just thankful it happened when it happened because if it happened an hour later, I wouldn't have been home. I would have been at work, and he would have been stuck in there alone. The Waverly Apartments are getting expert at this by now. They say they have an all-hands-on-deck policy where they bring in everybody to make sure that they can figure out ways to get these buildings boarded up and also have restoration where it is possible. They also say they're helping their residents with temporary living accommodations when they can't come back here. In Van Buren Township, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, firefighters from eight other communities responded to assist Van Buren Township. No word yet on a cause and damage estimates aren't just in.